So we finally got our heads back from the machine shop and now it's time to start assembling them. So after doing all the porting and polishing, I plan on taking these heads to the machine shop just to get them clean and resurfaced. But upon closer inspection, the valves actually had some pretty deep pitted rust on them. So the machine shop recommended doing a valve job on it and I kind of tended to agree with them after looking at it because those valves need to seal, especially for running a turbo. And if you're going through all this work anyway, it's worth spending a little extra money to have them actually done at the machine shop. So each valve will properly seal. So they did a full valve job, they cleaned them all up, they resurfaced them, and now they're finally back and ready to be assembled. As you recall, when I tore these apart, I actually put all of these valve stems in specific marked locations in a cardboard box. And I gave that to the machine shop and they got rid of my box. But as you can see, they put them all in there and they taped them all in place. It's very, very, very critical since these are now mated to the valve seats that you keep these in the correct spot. So I made a new cardboard box. We're gonna put all the valve stems in the cardboard box, clearly marked out and ready to go when it's time to install these. One of the weak spots on these LS heads are the trunnions. Now these trunnions can fall apart under high RPM or high boost situations and they have little needle bearings inside of them. And if they fall apart, you got needle bearings all throughout your motor and your motor is pretty much a boat anchor at that point. So one of the best investments you can make when you're rebuilding these heads are trunnion upgrades. I'm gonna use this kit from Brian Tooley Racing. It's part number TK002. And it is a pretty good chunk of change, but in my mind, well worth the investment because the races that hold the needle bearings are actually a much better design. And it comes with a washer and a snap ring to help keep the trunnion from coming apart. So once that's together, it won't come apart inside your motor. These also have a better oiling system than the stock trunnions and overall it's just a weak spot on the LS and an upgrade that you should do anyway. So we're gonna need a shop press for this. So we're gonna head on over to the big shop and get to work. In order to install these trunnions on your rocker arms, you're gonna need a few tools. First, you're gonna need a shop press as well as a 22 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta press the old bearings out of here and the old trunnions. And in order to do that, you gotta first locate which side is the flat side. One of these sides has these ears right here and then the other side does not. So you want the side with the ears and that's gonna go down onto your 22 millimeter socket. And then your 13 millimeter socket is just big enough to hit that trunnion right there. You wanna make sure this is all lined up as good as possible because if it's misaligned, it can damage your rocker arm. So once you feel good about it being centered, you just kinda of crank down until they start to come out. There you go. Once that falls through, it's out of there. Ah, see, there's all the needle bearings. So step one is to install the bearing on the upper side, not the one that's got the ears. That'll stay on the bottom. So the top side will install the bearing. One side of these bearings has writing on it. The other side does not. It's really important that you install the bearing with the writing facing outward, just like that. You wanna put one of these assembly washers over the bearing and kind of center it as center as possible so that these bearings get pressed in there evenly. You don't want them to go in there crooked. And then you can see it's just flush with the body of the rocker arm. And then we'll take our trunnion and we'll slip it through the opposite side until it's flush with the bearing we just pressed in there. Doesn't matter which side goes which, either way is the same because this rotates. So it doesn't matter, left, right, whatever. So now this is where this piece comes in handy with the hole because that'll sit your trunnion right over that hole just like that or you can use your assembly washer to fit over the bottom side of it and then that way it'll give you enough space. I'm actually just gonna do both. Again, you want the side with the writing on it to face up. So we'll kind of center it over the trunnion and now this 
time when you put the assembly washer on there, it is really critical that you get it centered on the bearing because as you're pressing it on, it has to go over that trunnion. And if it's not centered, you won't be able to press it all the way down. So now we'll just kind of press it on there and go slow, make sure it's going in there straight, not crooked. If everything lines up, the washer should sit flat against the body of the rocker. It's kind of still sticking up a little bit, so I'm going to go a little bit more with it. And there you go. So see now the washer is sitting flat against the body, and this is perfectly flush all the way around there. Check the bottom side. Perfectly flush. We're good to go. So now the next step is to install our washers and our retaining rings. So as you see on these trunnions, they've got this groove right here. That's where your snap ring is going to go. So the washer goes on like so, and then get your snap ring pliers, and then you just kind of spread them until it goes over, just like that. And we'll do the other side. Just make sure that those are all the way in the groove and everything is sitting flush. And now those are super strong, no longer a weak part of your motor, and those will never come apart. And now there's only 15 more to go. All right, we got all the bearings and the trunnions and everything installed on these rocker arms. Now you can see all the needle bearings that came out, and this is only some of them. A lot of them fell on the floor and rolled under things and are long gone by now. So now that these trunnions are upgraded, these rocker arms are good to go. Now we can install the valve stems, and I got new seals as well. Again, these were like 20, 30 bucks, so it's well worth the investment to make sure your valves actually seal properly. We're gonna wanna put a few drops of oil on some parts as we assemble this. I'm gonna be using this engine brake and oil. Any of the actual steel parts, you wanna put a little bit of lube on it just to kind of keep it from rusting. I'm gonna get these valve seats right here. Just kind of give them a little bit of lube. And on the bottom down here, I'm just gonna put a little bit on these valve seats too. You don't need much, but just again, to keep it from rusting. We'll put a little bit of oil on the rubber parts of these valve stem hat seals just to keep that rubber oiled so that as you're installing these, you don't get any tears. Now when you install these, the best way to make sure they're seated is to get a 21 millimeter deep socket, which is just big enough to fit over the hat, and then kind of give it a couple of whacks with your dead blow. And that's all it needs. Those are seated all the way down there. Now all the stem seals are in place and now it's time to install our valve. So we have to remember which side is the front. So since this is the driver's side, exhaust port is right here for on this side. So number one cylinder is here. So we gotta make sure we grab the right valves for the right ones. And give these a good wipe down as we install them just to make sure everything is clean. Since we're running a bigger cam with a lot bigger lift, we had to upgrade our springs. Springs I'm going with are these Pack 1218 springs, which are good, I think, up to 600 lift. So we got the valve in the cylinder number one exhaust. Now we'll install the spring on that one, and of course we clean the spring and the little keepers for it as well. Put the spring on there first, and then the keeper deal. Now we'll install our tool. the keepers in here. These are tapered, so you want to make sure that the small side goes down. So you release this slowly. Clamp those in place, and there you go. Just for good measure, I'm going to whack it with the dead blow to make sure that those are seated on there. All right, one down, seven more to go. Well, head upgrade complete. Now the next step is to install the lifters and then we can put these heads on the block itself and then the push rods and then we can put those rocker arms on there and well, basically finish the whole top half of the motor. That might have to wait till next time though. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, buy yourself a t-shirt, check out the stuff down there, social media thingies and I'll see you on the next one.